Okay, welcome back to how to build a successful Newman motor. This is the uh, bare um, setup of the uh, the parts. As you can see, the ball bearing holders, uh, the shaft, and the magnet with the little screws. Okay, and to uh, show a bit that this thing already works, I can put it on top of my own Newman motor, give it a little spin. So this is how our motor is going to look like later on. It also work like this. Okay. Well, the next thing uh, for me to do is to make the coil. Uh, first, gonna take that wire off. Take that off. Because what we want to have with the coil, um, as you can see in uh, in uh, my other version, is that it's really important to have like it's one coil, uh, like uh, you you start with down and then go up with the same amount. Um, it's very important because when uh, this coil uh, is connected it makes a, s a north and a south pole and it happens really up and down and not here in the middle so it's really important to uh, the, to, uh, to make two rings two rings that uh, work together they are connected in series so you make one ring with the same amount of uh, wire you make the second ring and then between they are connected but not uh, just some wire spin around uh, randomly because uh, first you don't know uh, how many wi uh, windings you have I also don't know how many windings I have here um, so in my uh, next little motor I will try to uh, to, to to really know what is uh, the amount of wire that I put on one side and the other side because otherwise one is weaker than the other one um, yeah I got my wire out of a transformer uh, thin wire uh, that's perfect for uh, for this motor um, because it's, uh, yeah, it's not using any amps so uh, it will not also not burn this thing away and uh, uh, if this thing is really stable, we want to go up in voltage, so then the wire, you don't want to have that thick, and, uh, thick because then your battery or capacitor will discharge directly on it, and then uh, you only have a little bit. More wire is more energy left on the end. Um, yeah, for me to indicate how much uh, wire I put on one side, um, as you can see, I make a little stripe here. Uh, what I think that is the middle of all this wire to have some of some indication of how much wire I put on one side. So uh, if I am there in the middle, I go to the next coil. So um, yeah, I will start uh, a little bit.
you get stuck anywhere. Um, it's not really important if you go this way or that way. It would determine where north or the south is going to be when you put power on it. But uh, it's not not an important fact. But you have to do it always in one way, in one direction. Um, Keep it on one side only. Because we don't want to have to another side. So I have to make something to keep that wire. And then you just keep, keep rolling uh, on top here until uh, you reach the, the middle and um, then you go to the other side to make the second coil so uh, yeah in my next video I will show you the finishing of that and um, how that looks like so until next one